Hello YouTube, in this video I'm going to review FreeBSD Pinebook Edition. For those of you who don't know, FreeBSD has an official image for the Pinebook. Although I have just come across it a few days ago while I was browsing the Pinebook forum. So I decided to install it on a micro SD card and give it a shot. Here in front of me is my Pinebook running FreeBSD version 13. It's running the latest uh, FreeBSD build, which I have downloaded from the official repository. And interestingly, on the right side of it is my phone, which is connected to the Pinebook. Long story short, I couldn't get the wireless up and running. Uh, and to connect to the internet, I had to share my phone internet with the Pinebook via USB Tetra. So what things are working and what things aren't? Uh, trackpad is working fine, keyboard is also working fine except the uh, function keys. And as you can see the display is also working but it has some uh, flickering which is not reflected uh, on the camera. The things aren't working uh, are wireless, audio, microphone, and webcam. I haven't tested the HDMI output yet, but I'm assuming it won't work either. I also can't get the battery status via the terminal, so I won't know when my Pinebook will, will run low on the power. One thing weird I have noticed is when the Pinebook is off and the FreeBSD uh, SD card is, is inserted. The moment I plug the charger in, the device will turn on automatically and tries to load the FreeBSD kernel, but it will fail with some uh, kernel panic errors. The error message is about failing to find the network interface. I haven't figured out how to fix the problem yet, a workaround. Uh, on this issue is to forcefully shut down the Pinebook by pressing the power button for a few seconds and then try to turn the device back on again. There are also other cases that FreeBSD fails to load. For instance, the kernel won't load if, uh, if my phone is connected to the Pinebook. The FreeBSD won't also load on some random occasions. More or less, this means to me that the current build is not uh, is not usable for the day-to-day -day tasks, and it's like a proof of concepts. So here I have installed uh, Xorg and i3. Although i3 uh, has stopped working after the first reboot, so I had to comment out the line which is bootstrapping the i3. Uh, in the x init rc file so here it's running just like pure xorg environments i also wanted to test the browsing experience but i couldn't find any common browser like firefox or chromium on the freebsd repository and eventually i ended up installing w3m for some basic browsings. Now I'm going to show you how the video playback is working on the uh, FreeBSD. So as you can see on the top left corner is HTOP. The memory consumption is 186 megabytes which is not very bad and the CPU load is zero. Below that uh, is free is the new fetch. As you can see, I, I'm running FreeBSD version 13. And in this, per, in this terminal, I will showcase how a video playback is working. So I'll be running, I'll be, I'll be running a video uh, which I have downloaded from the internet is the sample 720p video. The, for, the file format is MP4, the, uh, the size is almost 30 megabytes. So 
uh, I have to pass I had to pass uh, no audio arguments because as I mentioned earlier the sound card isn't working so let me let me play the video so the loading the, the video is taking some time and then it's, it's throwing also some errors that he cannot find the video driver so I'm running it on the full resolution so as you can see the video is playing fine but at the same time the CPU consumption will spike up the average CPU load is like around 30 percent, 40 percent. So the, C the the video playback is working fine. But if I let me quit, if I if I full screen it, you will see that the the video starts to slowing down. So let me quit the the video. Okay, as you can see, I played the video for 27 seconds and the frame uh, frame drops was 96 which is quite high so i believe the the, the reason for this is because the pine book uh, the the FreeBSD isn't really optimized for the pine book at this stage and i i'm i'm assuming that the, some video drivers are missing and the hardware acceleration isn't uh, available at the moment but that is not all the case uh, i also noticed that uh, the while i was installing some packages the performance was quite bad for instance uh, in installing the xorg environment and i uh, i3 window manage, uh, window manager took like an hour which is quite a lot uh, and the most of the time was spent on in on extracting the packages which is basically on compressing the packages so uh, my first my guess is the the kernel the freebsd kernel isn't optimized for the point book at the moment so that's pretty much it I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.